flight 2000. P's and P's are in the green. Right, right at full power. Engine speed is at least 2,400. Air speed is coming alive. And we're off. Copy Tavis, Charlie here, descending dead side. Descending dead side. is somewhere I've never been before, although I have flown it on the flight sim. Right, so get on to heading. One six one seven. One eight five. Which is there. Okay, three and a half thousand, tip the nose. Let the speed increase. Power down. 2,300. Train level retrim. And the plane should fly itself. I've been asked to lean the mixture because I keep forgetting to do that. So bring this back. The engine goes woo. There. Right, so that's lean. And we are good. So we have three minutes to Blanford. I can see Blanford. We are good. Gross error check. We should have the C right in front of us. Yes, we do. Oh. Okay, big shout out to Rodney. 
Hello, Rodney. Rodney's a superstar. He actually watches my videos in their entirety, would you believe? That is just so awesome. So, I do have Sky Demon helping me. I've got to here to the finals. Um, I'm trying to gonna try and do it on all my notes. And then if I need to, I can quickly flick to that and just do any check, uh, error checking. Well, I not have asked a better day for my cross country. A little hazy. I know there's a few scattered clouds on the way, but nothing which really should bother us. My big question is, is my camera going to last? I wasn't able to attach my makeshift fans. Because I forgot the elastic fan. Oh, we'll see. Right, so... To be right above Blanford. Any second now. And then it's heading 270 for 27 minutes. Right, so Blanford is right underneath me, and we're right on time. So, we want to be heading to so to get a little number of vacation. seven zero. Good look round, and so... Uh, there's turn, time, talk. We're heading for west, Backley West. Bit more rich, bit more. Turn time, so 27 minutes. That takes us to three minutes past eleven. Now I told Bunk as well I'll be there at eleven, so that's good. So I've got my map here. Might need to reach from here. Actually, no wind at all today, it's awesome. No significant landmarks initially. About halfway there, we're looking for that infamous mast and that uh, lake on the right. Sky Demon, all good. So, an issue I've been having a lot is getting this thing trimmed properly. I always seem to gain altitude.
I think the problem I have is the nose seems a lot lower than it should be. But it's three fingers up from the nose of the aircraft, which it is now. So we are looking for first landmark. Well, it isn't really, there's a train track which would be quite hard to see. Got some roads. So once the aircraft's trimmed, as Andrew demonstrated last week, you can literally hands off. It flies itself. Another gross error check, we should have the sea on our left. Great visibility today. So this is a PPL cross country, not an LAPL. I, I've actually, if I'd stuck with the LAPL, my flight to Dunkiswell last time would have been it. But I have changed to PPL. Now if I've got enough mental capacity, I'll talk about that later. I'm probably just going to focus on flying today. That's all right with you. And I'll do a proper video on why I've, I've firmly decided to stick with PPL. So this flight is going to be over 150 nautical miles with two landaways, one of which I can't have done before. And that will be Kemble. Now I have done Kemble on the sim and I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Quite a lot more radio work with Kemble than you would with, say, Dunk as well or Compton. Right, so we've got a town on our right. That's going to be Sherbourne. And we should have Burn Abbas over there. Sneaky check, Sky Demo actually spot on, which is great. I'm losing a bit of altitude though, so I'll just mixture riches, get it back up 100 feet. Back to 2300. A bit more choppy here. Now we'll leave the mixture again. Right, so my next reference, reference points will be that T-shaped lake. And the aerial mast, which I have so much trouble locating. Not for a while, eh?
flying the heading, so all I need to do Okay, well there's a lake on the right, uh, I anticipate the camera not picking it up, but it's there, and I can see the aerial mast quite easily today. Uh, Compton Radio, good morning, Golf Outbreak today, Golf Hero, uh, Tango 3 requesting airfield data and uh, uh, the radio. Uh, you're saying 5, it's 2, 6, right hand, the QNH 1022. Now I was planning to do this at 4,000, but at 4,000, 4,500 is clouds, not many. So I'm going to keep it to around about So down radios, engines, T's and P's are in the green, do a car peak. Go down, go down, downwind, left hand, uh, left hand, downwind, runway, two, two, that's good. Traction is good. And meter charging. Uh, car peak back on. Direction indicator, so we are exactly west. So that is good. 
Altimeter, leave for the time being. Right, so we have... Crew turn on the right, which is good. Then we should have charred in the distance. Yep, so we're all good. I should be there in about 13 minutes. Circuit ice 800.
That's a bit scary. He was going the wrong way around the circuit. He obviously realised at the last second. Wow, that's very scary. So, Duncan's where I should be, straight ahead. And we should be there, five minutes. So we need to be joining the pattern at 800 feet. Currently just over two and a half above the airfield. Thank you. 
Quite a busy circuit, I'll just follow that guy, I guess he So low. All right, approaching eight hundred. So to a check, so I'll be done with that already. Mixture is rich. Fuel pump on. Enough fuel for a go around. T's and P's are in the green. Suction is good. Charging good. Brakes are off. Hatches and harnesses are secure. I'll be off. Right. Go for go final one, mate. Two two for touching code. Alright, I'm just gonna follow that guy. Lining up on the 2-2. That's all the traffic. Students go for half whiskey, downwind 2-2. Two -two. Bye. 
that one ahead. So it's got quite an extended threshold here. I've got to be careful not to land too early. Papa Whiskey, your final 2-2 to land. Right, so you see all the arrows there. Got to land after those. Okay, drag flat. Certain that there's aircraft on the runway. Be fat rich, be back. Runway vacated. Right. Turning wind. Uh, 
Okay. Right. After landing. Break on. 1200. Go get it out there, lining up. Two, two. Stand by. Fuel pump off. Light wasn't on. Heater, heater off. On car, heat was off. Bottle friction loose. Flaps up. Trim is to need. I'm not sure how hard to brake there, and you did warn me that these wheels can lock. Um, I suppose I could have just continued down the runway and double back, but I was conscious of the uh, other pilot coming in doing a touch and go. But I suppose he could have gone around. Radio Golf Romeo Yankee November Sierra. Good morning. Radio check air for the information, please. Golf November Sierra. Good morning. Visibility slightly from way two two left hand. QNH one zero two one. Two two left hand. QNH one zero two one. Taxiing for the hold for two two Golf November Sierra. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like button. Even better, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next time.